Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today's episode 129, I think. <laughs> Always forget the numbers. But anyways, I got some finished items to share with you guys and some whips. And it's pretty much the same stuff you've been seeing. <laughs> I have one new whip that I actually forgot about until when I was getting ready to record this video. And then I do have some finished objects that are new finished objects. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop into it and show you. So first, um, I put out a little... Um, how to video on how to add a twist to headbands so in the process of making that video I had to make some headbands <laughs> so uh, I didn't use any pattern this is just headbands I whipped up there's an end I'm tucking it in so there's one of them <laughs> it's made with uh, line brand hometown and it's uh, Tampa something Tampa heat I think and then here's the second one I made two <laughs> Just because I needed to uh, film it for that video and everything. So it's, um, I had to make two. But there's two of those. <laughs> and then I made Christmas hats for me, Jesse, and Devin. Jesse's is in our car. I accidentally left it in there from where we were using it the other day. He likes wearing it a lot. And Devin's at work. But uh, I will insert a picture in a minute of us wearing our hats. Jesse's is kind of like a Santa hat. But it's instead of it flopping back, I made it to where it kind of stands up. And um, I thought it would be cute because it looks kind of like an elf hat or something. Uh, I didn't use powder for it. I just winged it. And it is also made with the Lion Brand Hometown Tampa Heat or something like that. And the white is um, Mainstays Velvet. And it's called, I think, Arctic White or something like that. And then I made Devin's hat, which is ginormous. <laughs> it is a little big on his head, but it fits enough. And uh, I didn't use pattern for this. It's just a, a hat. <laughs> it's just a basic hat. And I added the white to the bottom of his hat. And then mine is more like a Santa style, style hat. I still haven't put a pom-pom on it. I keep procrastinating um, doing that. My mom's actually going to borrow this Saturday to her church is going to Christmas Carol at the uh, nursing home outside the windows. And um, she needs a hat. She doesn't need one, but she wants one. This one I did use pattern for. This one is called Scent Hat, and it's by uh, Hopefully Honey. And I didn't follow her pattern exactly, because if I had followed her pattern exactly, um, there would have been a ton of rows. Did I already show these? I feel like I already showed these. I can't remember. <laughs> I might have already showed these. But, um, yeah, so that's mine. I didn't want it super baggy right here. Hers is more like a slouchy hat. I wanted it like a beanie with a Santa hat piece. <laughs> so uh, that's how that looks. And my mom's going to borrow it this weekend to um, go caroling in. Okay, so this is a fuzz. <laughs> as fuzz as ever. Um, my last finished object, right? Yeah, okay. Let's make sure I got all those. Is an amigurumi that I was gifted the pattern by the designer. And she actually gifted me another, ver or another copy of the pattern to give away. And there is a giveaway video for that on my um what you're working on wednesday this past wednesday the giveaway ends tomorrow i'm gonna draw the winner on saturday and uh get that sent over there but it's a little snowman it's called little snowman and um here it is <laughs> i made mine with pink instead of blue because i wanted it to be like a girl it's got a beret on and it's little nose and little cute legs and arms the arms turned out different i don't know what i did <laughs> I was not paying attention when I made this because the head's smaller than it's supposed to be because again I wasn't paying attention when I was making it and I wasn't I didn't do all the rolls I was supposed to do and it's no fault to the pattern it's 100% me because I was distracted and the same thing with the hands one's longer than the other but um, I mean it's okay because it's supposed to be sticks and sticks aren't the same so I'm happy with it I think it turned out cute um I like it it's super cute I just used uh red heart super saver white and I think pumpkin for the nose the arms are cafe latte and the pink is not red heart it's another brand but i can't remember <laughs> it's just a scrap ball that i have and then i do have safety eyes in i think it turned out adorable and it's just got uh fiber fill stuffing in it it's got a big old belly and uh, i think it's a really cute pattern she has the pattern up on her ravelry shop for sale for uh three dollars or there's also an ebook that it's part of that's eight fifty, I think, but it comes with sixteen patterns in it. And uh, someone's gonna win this pattern tomorrow. I'll uh, I'll draw the winner <laughs> um, tomorrow morning. So you still have time to go enter that if you want to check out the "What You Working On" video from this Wednesday. 
but I think it turned out super cute even though I messed it up a little bit <laughs> but uh yeah her pattern had a blue um hat and scarf but I wanted to make it girly because I love pink <laughs> pink is one of my favorite colors ever but uh yeah it's um Little Snowman by Naya's Toy Box and her name is Elisa uh but yeah there's that so now I got that Jesse wants that real bad he asked me yesterday have you showed that in your video yet and I said no not yet I said you can have it after our video <laughs> but that is my finished objects I haven't had a lot of them because I've been busy doing other stuff but I do have some whips I worked a little bit on my six day kids blanket it's the pink and gray one let's see here where's my stitch marker at I only put like two and a half rows on it this is where it was when you guys last seen it and then I added that much gray this is all the gray uh, pattern repeat so when I uh, work on it again I will attach pink to it and start another section of pink but I think it's turned out really pretty I don't know really let's see here I'll probably make it I might do pink gray pink three you know two more sections of pink and one more section of gray and see how big it is because I'm thinking about making this just baby blanket size so that I can enter into my fair next year hopefully <laughs> if uh, COVID things get better as baby blanket category but it's a really easy pattern the yarn is red heart super saver ombre the pink is called I think sea coral and the gray is called uh, anthracite and I'm using a J hook no not J a I I hook on this pattern <laughs> this is just my in-between pattern I'll just work on a row or two here and there so I'm not in a rush to get this done but I think it's turned out really pretty I like it a lot and it's called the six day kid blanket and it's a free pattern it'll all the things I talk about will be linked below if they have links and then my next I haven't picked up my cardigan at all so I'm not even gonna show it it's, it looks exactly the same as it did I need to remove that stitch marker but uh, my scrap blanket I've been working on it every single day in December because for part of my vlogmas I opened a scrap ball that was gifted to me um, and I added to my blanket I did add a couple of my own scrap balls to it also because I wanted to break up some of the colors because um, the scrap balls are roughly the same size so they were making big chunks of uh, colors so I wanted to break that up a little bit and then um, the next section got really blue so I wanted to add some more colors but let's see here let me find my stitch marker <laughs> okay this stitch marker right here that's Christmas light bulbs where this blue is is where it started from vlogmas so since December 1st I've added that much yarn <laughs> and then this stitch marker over here in the red right there is where you guys last seen it at uh, last week Woo. So I've added that much and all of its vlogmas colors except these smaller sections like this uh, orange and green and brown cream color these are colors I added in just to kind of break up and then up here I added the oranges and the pink and there's some greens up here just to break up the long lines because see it got really blue right here <laughs> and I wanted to just break that up so let me fold it in half so it's easier to manage so it's gotten really long <laughs> I think it'll be done but by the end of December it's about it's about halfway the size that I want it to be lengthwise so um, it's gonna be a pretty big blanket because it's about five foot four and a half five foot wide and it'll be probably six feet long because I, I want it long enough to snuggle with on the couch <laughs> so it's getting there I need to move that one stitch marker while I'm thinking of it um, it's grown a lot like I said you know I add a scrap ball into it every single day so uh, it's moving right along All right, got that stitch mark over there it's getting big <laughs> I just leave it laying on the back of my couch now so every day I can pick it up and work on it got my two blankets back there my last whip is uh, the whip that I forgot about I, I started this hat it's a hat pattern um, when did I start this a couple days ago I can't even remember now and um, I wanted to use this yarn I got gifted this ball of yarn it's mandala ombre but I can't remember what the color is and I don't remember what I did with the ball band but it's like pretty blues and green colors and I got gifted that recently and I wanted to use it really bad so I thought I would make a hat and cowl set 
So I found a hat pattern using the bead stitch, and it's called the bead stitch hat, or the bead hat, a bead stitch hat, what is it? I can't remember. Bead stitch hat. So I started it, and then I forgot all about it. <laughs> I just started the bead stitches, and uh, I did all the increases, and then some rolls of um, third loop only single crochets, I think, and uh, to give it like a ribbed effect. And then I started the bead stitches, and then I set it down, and something got set on top of it and I forgot about it. <laughs> but I am using this as, uh, it's a free pattern by fivelittlemonsters.com and it's called the bead stitch hat. So I wanted to make this hat and it's got a matching cowl also that I wanna make uh, with them. <laughs> and I just forgot about it. I'm using a J hook, not a J, a I hook on this too. And um, I hope it turns out a good size. <laughs> I think it will, cause it, the, the crown is, you know, the crown should fit me. So the rest of it should fit me. <laughs> but uh, I think this one is really pretty. I can't believe I forgot about this. I probably could have got this done the day I started it, but some, I know Devin was home that day, and we, we I started it and was working on it, and then we ended up leaving the house to go somewhere, and I apparently set something on top of it and just forgot that it existed. So it's going to set on my cart now so that I can work on it, maybe later today, and get it done. I got the hook out so I can remember what hook I used for it. Oh yeah. So that's all my whips and finished objects this week. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of crocheting. Like I said, it's mostly been on my scrap blanket because of doing the advent scrap balls. And, um, you know, I just got done doing sewing last week and I got this bag update gone and they have all sold. Um, last time I looked, there's one drawstring bag in the shop and it's a camouflage bag. It's been in there for a while, so I might end up just taking it out of the shop and giving it to someone because it's been sitting there for a while. But uh, the last bag is right over there. I just packaged it up. I gotta drop it off tomorrow. And um, I don't think I'll be able to make another bag update this year. If I do, it'll be random drawstring bags. Um, and then more big updates <laughs> after the new year. Uh, Cause I mean, it's already like a couple weeks till Christmas. And maybe I can get one update in between Christmas and January, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. I'm not rushing about it or anything. And uh, I haven't even went fabric shopping since this last update. So, um, yeah, I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm trying to be healthier and get more of these things done that's been sitting around for a while. And uh, I've been working on a puzzle that I was gifted. And I'm just trying to, um, what am I trying to, like, relax more? I don't know if that's what I'm trying to say. But, like, I've been cutting off uh, watching TV and stuff at a certain time in the day so that I can focus on like the puzzle and just doing, you know, self care and home care type things. And uh, I'm trying not to take on so much is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying not to be busy sewing and crocheting and recording videos all, all the time. Cause I've been super busy the last few months and it's catching up with me. <laughs> so I'm trying to uh, just relax more. And so far it's working. <laughs> I'm actually probably gonna go work on that puzzle here in a little bit because uh, I got a lot of work on it done yesterday. and. Uh, it makes me want to get in there and work on it some more. <laughs> but I am vlogging currently on my other channel. If you want to check it out, that's in the description box below also. So just check that out if you're interested in any of that stuff. And I think that's everything. The giveaway for the crochet pattern ends tomorrow. I'll draw the winner. And then the yarn giveaway that's in another video ends next uh, Wednesday night. So check out the videos to see where those are and enter them. And I guess that's everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.